Well, what's up, Riverhounds fam? This is Justin from the Mongols crew, and we're starting a new segment called something. We don't even know what we're going to call it yet, but we came up with this idea this week and wanted to just start providing some game day coverage, even morning of, quick keys to the game tonight, things like that. So if you've got any ideas at Mongols on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, and let us know what you want us to call this segment. Hey, tonight the Hounds take on Atlanta United 2, a team that is struggling in the standings. They only have 16 points on the table with a negative 41 goal differential, leaving them in 13th place in the East. However, that does not mean that the Hounds can take the gas off the pedal tonight. They have already dropped points this season to 12th place Charleston and 14th place New York Red Bull 2. Away from home, the Hounds are 5-5-3 on the season. The five losses are a little weird. They've got one against Las Vegas, one against Rio Grande Valley in the Western Conference. They've got two losses on the road against Tampa and Louisville. And then that fifth was the weird loss to Charleston. So just keep an eye out on that as the Hounds are on the road tonight in Atlanta. One of the things that I was thinking about for this week is the Riverhounds are a bit better this season when the other team is willing to possess and keep the ball. In the last nine games where the Hounds have gone 6-1-2, and two, they've only had a majority of the possession twice. They had 54% of the possession in the 1-0 win against Indy at home, and they had 61% of the possession in the 2-0 loss against Memphis at home. And you can see from this screenshot as well that when the Hounds have the majority of the possession, things don't usually go that well. The Hounds are 4-6-2 and two when they have the majority of the ball, only losing once when they actually have less of the ball. The home fixture against Atlanta was the perfect indication of this. It was a 4-0 Hounds win where the Hounds only saw 45% of the ball. The goals were mostly quick, back-to-front goals, and most a couple of passes. Take a look at the fourth goal. Shane Wheat makes a quick pass to Kenny Forbes, and you can see that the entire Atlanta midfield is now running back towards their own goal. A quick pump from Kenny as Russell Ciceroni is regaining his balance and getting back on sides. And then two quick touches from Russell Ciceroni and the ball hits the back of the net. The faster the Hounds can move back to front, the better most times. Hey, speaking of Ciceroni, the River Hounds are actually going as Russell Ciceroni is going. With 11 goals on the season thus far, Russ is leading the team in goals and is third on the team with four assists. However, Ciceroni has only scored once and assisted once in a game that the Hounds have lost. In the nine games where Russ has put a ball in the back of the net, the Hounds are 7-1-1. One, one. So tonight, you should be looking for a Ciceroni goal as an indication of a win. Hey, that's all I've got for you this week. Just a couple of things to keep an eye out on tonight. I hope you enjoyed the segment. Let us know what you think at Mongols, and uh, we'll see you next week.